Will you pardon me, my lord? Of course, of course. En enjoy. You seem rather drunk. Rather less than I planned to be. Isn't it a man's duty to be drunk at his own wedding? This isn't about your wedding. Renly Baratheon had a wedding. Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child, as soon as possible. And? If you're going to give her one, you need to perform. What did you once call me? A drunken little lust-filled beast. More than once. There you have it. Nothing to worry about. Drinking and lust. No man can match me in these things. I am the god of jits and wine. I shall build a shrine to myself at the next brothel I visit. <clears throat> Drink. You can joke. You can engage in juvenile attempts to make your father uncomfortable, but you will do your duty. Time for the bedding ceremony. There will be no bedding ceremony. You respectful tradition, uncle. Come, everyone. Pick her up and carry her to a wedding bed. Get rid of her gown. She won't be needing it any longer. Ladies. Attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. What did you say? What did you say? I believe we can dispense with the bedding, Your Grace. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. <laughs> A bad joke, Your Grace. Made out of envy of your own royal manhood. Mine is so small, my poor wife won't even know I'm there. Your uncle is clearly quite drunk, Your Grace. I am guilty. But, but it is my wedding night. My tiny drunk cock and I have a job to do. Come, wife. I vomited on a girl once. In the middle of the act, not proud of it. But I think honesty is important between a man and wife. Don't you agree? Come, I'll tell you all about it. Put you in the mood. <laughs> 